This is the Destech QH3, a third party head strap for the Quest 3. Destep was gracious enough to send me this to review, but as is always the case with my reviews, my opinions are my own and not influenced by the brands. My first impression before I even open the box is a positive one as it comes in a well designed and flashy packaging. I have a notion that has not let me down yet and that is if a brand puts effort into the packaging their products come in, they tend to put the effort into the quality of the product itself. When you open the box, you're presented with a quick starter's guide that has clear pictures and instructions explaining the installation and adjustment of the head strap. One doesn't really need more than this, but if you do, at the bottom of the box is an actual user manual. In addition, you're given a warranty card that explains all of that jazz. This is the point where we would normally talk about assembling the head strap, but we don't have to with this one because it comes fully assembled. All you need to do is remove your facial interface and whatever head strap you're currently using on your Quest 3, then slip this one on. It's hard to mess this part up as it only goes on one way and there are even stops that prevent you from sliding the sides on too far. So basically, you slide those sides on until they bump up against those stops and you're good to go. Moving on to the ratchet mechanism in this thing, I have only one thing to say. Absolute best ratchet mechanism I've seen so far in one of these things. It is rock solid, you set it where you want it, and it doesn't budge at all after that. There are two that need adjustment, one for the back and one for the top. That's right, instead of a top strap, as many of these things have, they have an actual top piece that loops from one side of your head to the other, rather than front to back like top straps do. This approach makes it far more flexible for fitting than your standard top strap. It allows you to choose where on your head you want the top weight to be held. Some may want it more on your forehead, as I did at first, or some may want it more squarely on the top of their heads, as I came to like, or a variety of positions in between. It is absolutely fantastic the flexibility this thing has. The back pad is also highly flexible for fitting as well. I personally like the back pad to be more on the bottom of my head near my neck. And with this, I can set it that way. But if you want to adjust it some other way for you, the flexibility is there for it. Both the top and the back pieces have really thick pads they come with, which for many of you would be great. But what about people like me who've expressed they don't like a lot of padding? Fear not, like most of these things, that padding is attached with Velcro and can be removed and you can attach a pad or not of your own choice. For me, I went with the honeycomb one I got somewhere I can't remember where exactly, but I think it came in a Bobo VR one. Attaching these, while not exactly pretty to look at as they are not designed for it, it worked really well. They provided me more stability than a soft pad could and didn't slip one bit. Obviously, this step for me is more of a modding step and for most, it's needed in the least. Many will probably be perfectly happy with what it comes with, but it's absolutely fantastic the option exists. Fitting this to one's head is simple enough. Make sure the top and the back are open and wide. Then I held the headset itself to my face where I found it was most comfortable. Then I adjusted the back where I liked it, then tightened it up. And then I adjusted the top piece how I liked it and tightened that one down. It will probably take some playing around with you to figure out where on the top of your head you want that top piece. But once that's figured out, and it's set, it's good to go. Once you have the front and the back set where you like them, it's perfectly possible to never have to touch them again because all you need to do to remove the headset is lift up on the front like so and take it off. And to put it back on again, you set the back pad where you like it and close the front like so. It may take some practice to get this part down if you've not done it before on other headsets, but it's not a steep learning curve at all, and once you've sorted it out, you are golden. This also means that you have the ability to lift up the front of the headset to view the real world if you're not inclined to use the pass-through. I've always struggled with that 
particular feature on other headsets that claim it, and it never quite worked for me until now. This headset performs that move quite nicely. All in all, of all the head straps I've used for the Quest 3 to date, and that number is about four, this one is the best. I seem to be on a trend where the next one is I get is better than the ones I got before. And with any luck, that trend will continue with the one I get next. So subscribe and click that bell to be notified when that video and others go live. But I would love to hear from you. What is your favorite head strap for the Quest 3 and why? Let me know in the comments below.